Hi everyone. I've been getting a lot of messages lately asking about how, how and why Dremel has discontinued their laser cutter. So I thought I'd make a quick video to talk about what I know, which is not a whole lot, and then what my plan is since I own one of these, uh, and I'll have to, to figure out what to do with it if it, if it breaks. So Dremel announced kind of quietly a few months ago that they were discontinuing the laser cutter. Now what that means is that they're no longer gonna be making additional laser cutters, but they have been still selling the ones that they've already made. So if you see it online, um, probably don't buy one right now uh, because the other part of discontinuation is that they will no longer be updating the software. Uh, and they also, once all of the parts run out, they will not be able to fix your laser cutter. Uh, so if, if the laser tube breaks or if your fan breaks or the gantry, um, there's not a whole lot of options for fixing it after they run out of their parts and stuff. So people have asked me why Dremel has discontinued their laser cutter. And I don't work for Dremel, so I don't know exactly why they've made that decision. But if I were to look at their business model, uh, you can see that Dremel does really well with their small handheld tools, and that's really uh, their bread and butter. And they've eased into the digital fabrication through their 3D printer. And then they tried to do it a little bit more digital fabrication with a laser cutter. Uh, and this is based on the full spectrum laser cutter. And so they didn't have to make it from scratch. It's a laser cutter that's always been already been out and about. But this is a very different um, market and user group than a 3D printer. And it just seems like they didn't have the support and the community around it to actually build it into a successful product. So they've decided to, to discontinue. They won't sell it anymore. They won't be servicing it anymore. So what am I gonna do? So I've had this Dremel laser cutter for two and a half years now, I think, and it still works really well. I haven't had any issues beyond that first um, laser tube problem, and they shipped an entire new laser cutter to me, and I've had no problems with this whatsoever. So I plan on continuing to use this laser cutter until it stops working, and then I'll look into other laser cutters to get. At that point in time, if I still just need a hobby level laser cutter, I'd probably be looking at the Glowforges. So deciding which one from the basic or up to the Glowforge Pro, uh, along with the ventilation uh, system that comes with that. If at that point in time I'm doing more production work and I'm actually selling more of my laser cut goods, I might actually get a more professional level laser cutter, like an Epilogue or a Universal. And I've worked with both of those before. They are great machines. They're just very pricey. So the Glowforge is about uh, four to 5,000, and those other machines are about 10 to 15,000. So when I get to that point, I'll make that decision. But for now, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the fact that Dremel has discontinued. Please don't buy one. <laughs> and uh, with that, what my plans are for right now for how to use my laser cutter. Thanks.